All righty. Ladies and gentlemen. We are continuing where we left off. Where's my water? I can't find my water. <coughs> Jesus. One more episode and we're done here, fillers. We're done, failures. We're literally on episode three. Tres. Fuck, bro. Broken toys. Let's go. Crap, can I make it? Wait, let me just quickly Previously get my water. On the Walking Dead. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And mm -hmm. AJ pulled the trigger. Yep. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. Basically. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers when suddenly one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ and let us back inside. After I told mm -hmm. them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay. At least, until the fight. I decided to help fight in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. And I Very admitted I had feelings for her. She felt the same way. Then the raiders finally Bye. came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten... Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to Dumbass. decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Ah, ha, ha. Sorry, bud. But, um, this is personal. So, are we gonna torture this guy? Cause that's the that's the feeling I'm getting right now. I feel like we're gonna brutally bru 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 torture this dude. It's, it's loading too slow. Uh, guess we're gonna bury him. Let's uh, let's talk to him. At the start, I was so little, and, and Mitch looked after me. People said he was a dick sometimes, but he was always nice to me. Now he's gone. Stabbed in the eye by some 
asshole who never even knew his name. Yeah. I who did this? We're, we're coming. You admit you wouldn't cry. Find a way to get our friend. Sir. His brains out with a rock. Infinite. We got able. Oh, cold. Thanks. We should bury him in. It's time. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're the and he's dead! Well, oh my god. We had a plan. An idiot messed it! Come on, Will. This is Ten's fault. Who's really to believe you're defending this? Jet! This. To get where Lily took Lewis, Omar, him. And Clem? Afraid to hurt him more than we did. <laughs> to the basement, we're off. <coughs> what are we tortured this dude? Can't wait, bro. Dude, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start of this game or interrogate this or not torture this dude. Bro, I'm starting this game again. Let's pet. Dude. Uh. Oh wow, I got another teammate. Best girl, Rosie. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. Ready? All right, asshole. Where the fuck are our friends? Shine out. Son of a bitch. <clears throat> Is there that or just hit you? Well, ain't no way to wake an old man up. I was having a nice dream too. About a girl I used to before. She also had me tied up, but I wouldn't forget my meat. <laughs> <coughs> Drink. <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this hard. It needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's gonna turn around and come back for me. <laughs> Better give me the five star. You might be able to trade me for a little mercy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna get the dog. You're gonna do that. You don't have it in you. Tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. We came here with power. Nothing to me. For three sprouts, it can barely hold a gun. <laughs> Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say point the guns the way we tell them to that's called kidnapping it's called. give it whatever name you want I call it survival What kind of place that ain't is survival Delta my dear. They use forced labor to defend it You think we like doing raids like this our home is under threat It's a good home built to last I do a lot to protect it Maybe you can understand that and I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. The answer to all your questions. Okay, thanks. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven-footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts 
that shall ye eat? What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely, moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. No. Help me remember. So, oh. Like where Lily went. Come on, kid. Don't make me wait all day. Nah. Oops. You little bitch! medicine we can still patch him up I don't think so when you push me off that balcony something must have burst inside of me no medicine can fix this Shit. I never wanted things to end like this everything it all got out of hand now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? We're all our mess, no. buddy. <laughs> my, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise. You won't let me turn. Okay. I'm begging you. If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay. We have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here. At an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. Yeah, we gotta. Not that. I wanna let me keep my face. You don't need to watch this. I want No, he does not. <sighs> At least you can't hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. Yep. Come on, we have a boat to find. Sometimes I don't know the reason why So I guess 
Guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rambling. Well, it's easier than just a waiting around. <coughs> 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 Go save our friends. Fuck our all. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Hey. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because Say he... one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look. The boat. Holy shit, I didn't even know. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Okay. You ever seen this boat before? No. Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat? It's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. Ah, good there raiders. Are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. That's gonna suck. I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Nah, he wouldn't be. I can see an entrance. I saw that too. It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. Um. Ooh. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. Okay. There's no good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Water! It looks like the the time isn't yesterday. Oh, okay. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Okay, here's AJ. Find anything over here? They have horses. Let me see. Are those torches? I think so. 
could be easy fire. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention, scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. That's true. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Okay. <sighs> Let's go talk to Wooly. useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Oh, that's a crossbow. More torches. Torches? We could use the fire. Oh, yeah. There's rafts too. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. <sighs> okay. We should get out All of here before seen. they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. We should get James to get the walkers or something. What's the plan? Well, they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat. There's no way we can take them all at once. Our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board. We should burn their stuff. That'd work. We could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses. Whatever we don't burn, we should take. Ruby would love to have the horses. But I'd rather steal those supplies. Yeah, yeah. We'll steal their supplies and burn the hay as our distraction. If you're going to steal from the rafts, you have to do it carefully. Wouldn't do it any other way. The fire will lure the raiders away from the boat, and we can sneak across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot! You remember that guy I told you about? James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. That's a good plan. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Oh, that's just someone chopping off wood. A raider has to be. You all stay here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Okay. Drop it. How many of you are there? How many of who? I'm not fucking around. Answer the question. Eight. There's eight. Clementine, wait. Okay. That... That's many. What the fuck? After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um, she died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. 
You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. I didn't ask to be put in charge. It just sort of happened. Is that the kind of wishy-washy bullshit you say to everyone back home or just me? Excuse me? Abel figured he could talk Merlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did, but... Like they did before. You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way you did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Many oh my gosh. Glenn protected us. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. Wow. A hero? God, you Nerva. Shit. Rockingham. Finish up and head back. I want to be in before dark. Shh. Yes, ma'am. Wow, wow, she's still there. We can have a chance to kill Lily, though. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough. Both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. All right. Well, that was very surprising. <laughs> and no one does not want to be dragged in to fight for someone's lost cause. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow! Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. Clem, I, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before. I got so mad. He was being mean. And Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just bump on the bump. Punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I know it's hard. Yeah, I let the anger pass, like man. That, they go away. You just have to give it time. <sighs> Waiting's hard. I'm just thinking too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But 
that he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, why don't we teach them? They're smart. Someone just has to show them what to do. Yeah. Uh -huh. I want Tim to know how to be safe. We can show them how to be smart, like us. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you? I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure. Yep. But those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. I am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. <laughs> Bitch, I, I basically helped raise you. I don't see James. I don't see James. Just monsters. Yep. <clears throat> James? You're hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. To do that, we need your help moving some walkers. I could maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all okay. Of Please. I'll, I'll try. Ah, oh, crap. Oh my gosh. You're dead. I can only stun them. Does that even work? Okay.
Come on. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have... There! Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey! Over here! AJ! No! There are too many of them! Oh, no. Cart, if we push it, the noise will draw them away. I learned that from you, dude. been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Do no harm. Huh. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James! Okay. We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, yep. We gotta see what he wants. safe <sighs> just Man. a little further bro if you're not gonna help me okay what is that is that an old church Let's explore a bit. See what see what we could find. Clem, what's this? It's called a salt lake. Salt lake? Ugh, sounds gross. Or maybe it's actually good. Like chips. Those are salty, right? Whatever you do, don't lick it. It tastes horrible. Wait a minute, how do you know? Did you lick it? I don't know. Well, that means you shouldn't lick it anyways. Did you lick it? Remember the good times. Must have had electricity here once. Beat That's Nick. a cool toy. I'll give it to AJ. My people. My former people, they had a practice. They called it 
collecting. Okay. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But... <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, but they're, they're just not. lost. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. As someone you cared about turned. Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone. They're harmless. Innocent. But they're still walkers. I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. I'll be fine, AJ. I'm doing this, okay? Uh, I... <sighs> I thought okay, that was an option. Fine. The first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Remember to breathe. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Touch the wind. Can't chart. believe it could be. You'll see. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is really nerve wracking. Oh shit.
Oh wow. Kiddo. It's all right. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So. No bites. Do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace. I. I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? Never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. Another lifetime ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> I that's guess. Enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I thought I could. But I can't. So many walkers would die. All of the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine. But I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are oh peaceful. Oh my gosh. H humans... My friends are alive. Not kind of or maybe alive. They're trapped and they're yeah. afraid. They need my help. Oh my gosh, he's he's actually gonna put Walker life more important than humans. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. Bro, you gotta understand. These raiders dude. are cruel. They force others to be the same. And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. <laughs> It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. <laughs> That's fucking gross, bro. Ugh. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Uh, excuse me. Alrighty. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Well, we can't know for sure. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left exactly. after we die. Ugh, that sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. <sighs> Come play, so there's three acts. Finally understood that. Oh man, am I ready for the last one, bro? Come and tell him. I've never met anyone like James before. I mean, he's tough. 
Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. That's good, AJ. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James. He agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat in a herd of walkers, I'd call them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. <laughs> what the hell is a hoot nanny? <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be oh, your last sure. chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. <laughs> like ten. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the oh. heater. Place your collectibles before leaving. What collectibles? I don't have any. Oh. What's his name? Beat Nick. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's get the. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. I'm literally right here. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Huh, <sighs> three? Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. And usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. <sighs> Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just by my face. You're the best, okay? Well, besides killing more. Smart. <laughs> is that right? Yes. Because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Bro, if that happens, the older I'm gonna get I get, mad. The more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. <laughs> That's not happening. You don't know that. That's true. No, I don't. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. <sighs> it does something weird to my stomach. <sighs> like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. 
No, dude. What? You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. Well, he has a fresh way of looking at okay. it. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Wow, okay. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, I guess. You know you can't trust her, right? She's been with those people for over a year. It sucks, but I don't know what else I expected. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ, or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he, he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it, he says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim, we'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. A button. <laughs> Stars. So you never forget that night. I never will. Huh. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. Which is? What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. Take her hand. <laughs> bro, I swear if she dies, I'm gonna I'm be upset, bro. This is really nice. Thanks for the dance. 
Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clem! Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Where did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross, but look, it works. <laughs> Ew. I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back! <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. You got to toss it, bud. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay. We better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. Let's enjoy the birthday party. Or not a birthday party, but a party in general. One last celebration before we go off and possibly kill people. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets a natural purple. moonlight, so something to complement that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. Purple. <laughs> really? What? I like purple. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet? I'll make it happen. So you take one of those black things that look like pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so you can play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Jazz. You wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh yeah. The old music teacher was a big fan. Pretty cool guy up until he ditched us all. What's jazz sound like? Uh, well, that one's hard to describe. Mm, just wait till you hear it. And then, choose a Are banner. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, We're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Oh, okay. That's nice of the good. Hey Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. <sighs> Some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. 
the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're going to be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. Oh, man, Jazz was such and, uh, a... Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Ooh, purple really does bring out the jazz. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Mingle? Alright. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah. Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, I think it's absolutely. A name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah, let's name this fucker. How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. And the memory of ten. Or not of ten, but Mitch. I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. Oh, wow. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. Okay. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Okay, what are my options? That's gotta be Violet. Nope, way scarier. Wow. It's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Wow. Yeah, you should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh, you ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. What? Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. Oh my god. What does that mean? Ah, uh, don't you dare. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Ten. Maybe we should change up the music? I like all kind of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. No, it's alright. 
People seem to like this. Good enough for me. Let's just move on then. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. Wow. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And, uh, Use that to push the trigger in. So yeah, bang, right? Wow. Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Wow. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like, what you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when... Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known how. He liked that one. You could just sing it to us like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can do that. Well, let's hear that beautiful voice. Uh, <laughs> Never mind the, the darkness. darkness. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood. Be 
night will be oh, over soon. So. Brush away. Such an emotional so. song right now. Brush away the tears. Sing, Sing away your heavy heart. heart. The night will, will be over soon. The night will be over soon. For every night goes quiet. I'm I'm basically ruining this song, but like, bro. Beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. What a great voice she has. But I sing really better than that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's not. Let's like. Oh, wow. Night light. Make sure they slept tight. Ah, oh, bro, ho, ho. bro, bro, that's a callback from the original. Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Bro, I'm literally gonna cry. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <sighs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kind of had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful, but I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. Oh my gosh, dude. You want to tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. 
alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> You have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. Mm -hmm. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. You'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Damn it, I'm crying, dude. <sighs> Damn it, dude. They they got me emotional right now. Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> Just look at you. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. No, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. You've got people that need you. Lee, don't do this to me, bro. You just came back, bro. Goodbye, Lee. Don't say goodbye to Lee. You're coming back to talk to him, bro. Bro. Instead of being Good. sick, I'm Look actually, up. like, emotionally crying because of this. Ah, uh, damn. We got a long walk. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, dude. Bro, I I miss this. I miss this man. I'm 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 I I miss Lee just teaching Clementine shit. Bro. It was kinda hard moving forward, but I I that's I just fell in love with the story, man. Like Walking is already good enough, but like having people I care about in a video virtual virtual game. Uh Excuse me.
We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to, not right now. Oh. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd flip? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold okay. tight. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. Oh, shit. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. You, our friends, are different. Open minded, accepting, like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. I wanted to show you something. What is this it? This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. We joined the Whisperers together. But... it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death. And suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. You killed someone innocent? A child? That's horrible. I know that now. But then I didn't care. It had to be done. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. But no one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. Yeah. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. 
They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's okay. as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. Take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Okay. Willie, Dan, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. On the other side, I'll cut it open. What's up? Oh, wait, I forgot. Violet she told, told me about Minnie. Yep, that Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just if you see her out there. Tell her, tell her I forgive her. Okay. Please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. She won't listen to me, Ten. There's no way. So you won't even try? I would have done it for you. Ten. Okay. Ah. I mean, I wanted to make a point about that. It's time. We gotta move. Clem? What happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there? What if it's you? I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or a Sim. Omar. I... I... I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I can't lose you too. You won't lose me. I won't. You better not disappear on me, okay? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. <laughs> Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. So, I know this is gonna sound gross, but... Covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. That's how the walkers won't get to you. Oh yeah, man. A, a whole ass makeover. Oh yeah. Get my back. Oh, that's hot. Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Okay. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Okay.
I'm dead. Yep, I'm so dead. <laughs> Crap. Steve, behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Okay. You know what? Where am I running to though? I'm dead. Damn it, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be a bitch. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Bro, come on! How did, I, <coughs> how did I not use those walkers? Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Wait, wait, wait. There we go, okay. Well, where am I trying to go? How do I not use the my shield? Oh my gosh, how are you gonna tell me? Oh yeah, use walkers like shields, but I cannot use them as shields. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, there we go. Okay, that worked out. Our chance. We can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Okay. There we go. Oh shit. Fine, fine, fine. 
fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Stay okay. close. Stay hidden. Come on. There we go. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers. Just leave them. Personal space. Keep your distance. Well, of course. Short line. Completed Act Two. Excuse me. get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Okay, find the boiler. Oh shit. like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Oh man. It's not army lady. Yeah, then. Looks like I don't have a choice. Wait here. There's that other lady. There you 
go. Mitch's masterpiece. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. Let's hurry up then. All right. Find your friends. Pretty sure they will be below deck or something. Okay, never mind. They'll be up top. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother. Short, scarred face. See? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. What a bitch. Oh, shit. Of course she had to be the cell guard. We can't sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He told me to tell you. He forgives you. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, right. we have to hurry. Just magically puts that away. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I, uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's, he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. The fuck? Lewis. Lewis. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Don't no. fucking point it at me. Don't have me. Wow. I'm not surprised. <sighs> oh. Oh. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> did they pull his teeth out? No, 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 don't. They, they, uh, they cut out his tongue. He just, uh, he kept fucking talking. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Lewis. <laughs> okay. We're getting out of here, okay? <laughs> Let's get you home. <laughs> Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Damn. It's okay. The brightest person that when they do something to him, they'll automatically be wow. He literally just got fucking smacked upon. Home soon. Okay. Oh shit. We're not staying here that long. Tally counted the days. Looks like 
there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. Damn it, that bitch betrayed out. us. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ, do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Grab the shiv. <laughs> it's okay, Lewis. Oh shit. Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. It's Lily. Good. I'll take it from here. Knew it. I can I could smell hear the bitch's voice. <laughs> You're such a snitch. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it. We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. We did. Back up. Minerva. Uh. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. Oh my gosh. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. Yeah, no. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. 
He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family <laughs> sitting in the dark. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? Ooh, I'm so scared. Oh, because you're wearing waving a pointy I gun at me. I tell you a story. Let's, Let's call, call it, it the parable, parable of the twins. twins. Oh boy. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. That's Minnie and Sophia. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. And look what you that see, cost. This place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin... She could never forget her old home. What the she fuck? She rejected every gift, every, every opportunity, opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. You're a monster, what happened dude. then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. Oh, you gotta be and shitting me, dude. I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Oh, what the fuck, dude? Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one. What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Violet, calm down. You saw what they did to Lewis. Just do what they say. Why? So I can become a soldier in their army? Someone who kills the people they love? Fuck uh. that! Hold the mouthy one out of the cell. No! No, 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 no. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, dude. Stop! Oh, fuck! Don't hurt no, Violet, no. or I'll hurt you. Hey, oh. yo, you better cool it or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Uh, Easy! Uh, Stay still! Shit. Fuck, fuck you, no! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Oh! Oh. Hey, Jay. oh shit, she bit her ear. Hey. Son of a bitch! Stop! That's enough. He bit me! I said that's enough! You deserve to die. Oh my gosh. We'll kill you. You think you can kill me? I know I can. No. I'll throw you in the river. I will put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. 
thing. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. No! This is between us. Oh, no. Don't Clem fuck seems me. to care a lot about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem in time! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't you dare look- Oh my gosh. Bro, why the fuck does it do it like that? I'm so, I'm so fucking upset. Bro, please tell me if re please tell me it restarted. Please, 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 please. Can I restart a checkpoint? Come on, dude. Behind you. You're the fucking problem here. I won't let Come you on, down. dude. I'm pissed. Minerva! I can't let her leave! Shit! Come on, we have to go. I can't... I can't leave... Her. Go, I'll catch uh, up. Clem, come on. We have to get the hell out of here. Go. I, need I mean, all it, all it was is just I just busted a door. Will. Damn it. Why does my Wi-Fi do that? I'm so pissed every time it does that. I guess apparently I can't stream too long. I mean, all it was is just I busted the a door through Minerva. We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we got to offer. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you and Clem. You'll come around you can even share once a room. you see what we have to offer. Found one more Plenty of food, the comfortable docks. beds for you and Clem. You can even... Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. This in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Yeah. 
must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Oh boy. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ted. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath? All right. No. My friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or or else. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't! No! <laughs> Come on! That's my boy! Yes! <laughs> I got this, I got this. I got the bit. <laughs> Shit. Oh. I got you. I got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, AJ. Yes! Yes! Come on. Get, oh my God. No. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. We're gonna oh, um no. AJ. She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut my friend's tongue out. You don't have to do this, please! It's a trick! Don't you fucking dare, AJ! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. I don't want to die. Do it, AJ. No. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's Stop. enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay, I made a mistake, but like I feel like she's not a threat anymore. Lily, we couldn't find the other. What did you do? You are fucking dead. Shit, the bomb. AJ! I felt it was the right decision, dude. It was the right decision to kill her. Okay, look, I don't care what anybody else thinks. 80% shows mercy. I think that was a good idea. I mean, 49%, I guess. I am yep. a poor pilgrim of sorrow. Bro, bro, ha 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 ha. Everybody, 53%, everybody agreed. Except for the 49%, I mean, I might as well give respect. I want
want to make heaven Wait, what? my home. Sometimes I am tossed and driven. Sometimes I know not where to roam. I heard of a city called heaven. I'm striving to make it my home. Shit, dude. A few days yet to wander A few more hard battles to fight Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, now I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, dude. I need... A lot, a lot's gonna be... Dude, third, third episode, the fourth episode, I should say. Take us back, bro. I hopefully, I hopefully, there's nothing bad that's gonna happen from this lost for this last episode, I should say. But um, yes. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all, lovely ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. Finally. <laughs>